had the pleasure of spending the afternoon with a group of amazing women and some good men as well at the Women's Impact Luncheon. It was powerful, it was informative, and it was just a great way um, to kick off the weekend for Jazz in the Garden. You know, I, and, and just most of all, listen, you, you all enjoy, enjoy this moment and enjoy each other. Um, this is the moment of the woman, the month of the woman, but this is, this is my lifetime, in my lifetime. I just want to answer one question that the poet asked. What would happen if you pledge allegiance to each other? We'd be a better country. I beg you to pledge allegiance to each other. I promise you the world will be a better place. We want you because of this movement to stand up and say, no, I don't have to do that to get ahead. I don't have to do that to get to where I want to go. We can do it all. So the future is female, but I'm just so proud to say that um, I'm here today in front of you from uh, wonderful women uh, like females who raised me. I, I approached my parents about wanting to be an actor and they said, are you crazy? No, we're giving you the best education. You will go and do as planned. Take the box. You're either going to be a doctor, lawyer, engineer, et cetera, et cetera. And so I did that. And I worked in corporate America for 15, 20 years. And at that point, I had a conversation with God and I said, this, I want to do my thing. Um, and I will tell you that I did not have one single person support me. Um, there are dream killers. Giving up is not an option in life, and, and that's what I want our girls to know. What I'm coming to understand is that what God wants us to do is to not reach for outside sources, not reach for uh, outside individuals. God wants us to reach for Him in everything we do. And when we do that, we have amazing women that are going to change this world. I do believe we're going to have a female president. I do believe she's going to have melanin in her skin. Um, and I know that um, the future is definitely female, and it's such an honor to um, be a woman.